Happy Halloween, and today I'm going to show you how to build this witch's house. And the materials I use to build this is mainly sandstone, a bunch of the deep slate variants, a little bit of gold or a deep slate for some texture, some birch doors. I use some stone bricks, cracked stone bricks, stone brick stairs, campfire, trap door. And then for the texturing of the main house, I use a mixture of sandstone stairs, sandstone, birch planks, and cut sandstone. First thing you're going to want to do is find a place to build. This looks really good, but the ground isn't spooky enough. That's much better. I used a combination of pod sole, coarse dirt, regular dirt, and some dirt pads. Next, we're going to take our smooth sandstone. We're going to come on up and do a row of two with a space in the middle for the door. Go over by two more, and we're going to build each of these up by three and then connect it here in the center, just like this. Then we're going to come off the right side and build over by two, build diagonally by one, over by two, and then we're going to do the exact same thing as we did there. Here by two, across by five. We're not going to put a door here, and then we will build these up by three. And then we can just take this exact same pattern and do it all the way around until we have four identical sides just like this. When that's finished, it should look something like this. Then we can come on in and build these up to be at the exact same level as our four sides, just like so. And then once those are filled in, we can come on in and put a layer of three in the center of each of these walls, just like this. Then we're just going to build off of these corners and fill on in the inner part of this circle until we get to the edge of this. We will take out these blocks eventually, but for now they can stay and we should just have an entire line going along the inside just like so. Next we can come on in and we're going to build off of these temporary blocks by two, just filling them in. And if you want to, you can go ahead and take those out and we're just going to build a round like so leaving these little blocks here as kind of a little transition piece into this next set. But if you want to try something different, go right ahead. But we're just going to go on through just like so. No problem. And with that done, it should look something like this from the top down. Then we're going to build up one more layer, but we're going to put a point on each of these walls. And then we will come on in with our final layer connecting up each of these edges you don't need to worry about taking out any of these extra blocks but if you wish to do that that is perfectly fine then you can go on through and do your texturing again i'm going to be using birch planks cut sandstone and sandstone for the texturing and with the texturing done it should look something like this but what blocks would you guys use let me know in the comments down below and then next we're going to take our deep slate variants and we're going to come out over the edge here and we're going to build a cross by five kind of mimicking the first set of sandstone that we put down below so it'll be five right here going two over like so with one across two back and then across by five and once the first part of the deep slate is in, it should look something like this, but we are going to come in and fill this in just a little bit. You can kind of play around with this to see what you like to do, but I'm basically just going in by like two or three layers for most of it, but we can always take stuff out if we want. We're basically covering up these empty gaps. That's the, the main part of it. And it was bothering me that this side was not 100% like the other, so I went and fixed it. And then just by looking at it, I think we're actually just going to fill this in to one big square, just like so with these blocks in the center that we can either use or we can take them out. That is okay. Next, we can come on in and we're going to build a cross by five, just like so building up by three in the center. And then we're going to kind of build at an angle and then kind of mimic that sign. So one, two, three, four, five, building up by three. Go at an angle, build up by five across, then go up by three in the center, build at an angle, two, three, four, five, build at an angle, and then this part up by three. Then we can take these inside blocks, we're going to build these up by two, and we're going to connect them across as well, just to kind of add some more support to the hat of this build. If you guys haven't told, couldn't tell, this is the hat. That inspires the witch's hut. So just building them across like so, no problem. If you want to add a point here, you definitely can, but play around with it, see what you like the most. And then we're going to start building our way up to the curved point of this house. We're going to build up 
by three like so come on in and build at an angle build up by three build at an angle build up by three angle three and then an angle as well and then we can just come on in and build these up by two in the center and we're going to add some extra blocks here so do not worry if it looks a little uh funky we're just going to add some slabs and stuff later but we should be able to have the top of the house like so and then we're going to come on in adding in these blocks in the center then we're going to start building out the little curve that comes off the top and you can play around with this to see if it fits how you want to build it because you could change it up as much as you want but i'm just going to make this a flat slab of a three by three and then we're going to build a cross like this and just kind of start doing a little bit of a curve to give us that little wicked type look to it and sometimes even just taking it up a little bit more and then bringing it on down and we'll shape this with like stairs and with slabs as well but i think that's actually a really decent curve that we'll fix with stairs and stuff as we go and before i do any of the texturing for the hat i think we will fix this curve a little bit so i'm just going to add some stairs here and there to give a little bit more of a curve here and we'll bring it on down like so and if you really want to you can get fancy with some upside down stairs just to kind of give a little bit more of a curve and oh i think that looks really good but i think we should take this out and add a slab Ooh, that looks really good almost done throwing in that right there Ooh, i like that a lot that actually looks really good i think we might add a little bit more support here but overall i'm really happy with this and there we go so i went ahead and did some cracked deep slate bricks for some more texture so now i'm going to go through and use some deep slate gold ore some regular deep slate and some slabs and stairs just kind of sporadically throughout to add a little bit more detail and a little more kind of rustic look to it and with the texturing in that is done next we can add our door and we're actually going to take this block out and put it upside down sandstone stair with a birch door on the inside you can use whatever door you want i just think the birch is going to fit the sandstone design very well once that's done your house your witch's house is completely finished now we can do some terraforming and some decorating and make this look super spooky i also can't believe i almost forgot we're going to actually add a chimney to come off of the back rim of the hat so what we'll do is we'll start building up with some stone bricks and we're going to come on in by one and we will take out this block from the hat build up another one and we're just going to go up at a little bit of an angle if you want to go out one more you sure can but we should be able to see this part from the front of the house so that looks good and then we can start building up at just kind of some randomized layers to add a little bit more depth and texture to this and then we're going to go through with some cracked stone bricks just for even more added texture and we'll go in with some stairs as well just to add to the curvature of the chimney because it's wonky it's a witch's house it doesn't have to make a lot of sense and i'm happy with that and then we'll just top this off with a campfire with our trusty spruce trap doors all the way around and there we go a chimney and with a little bit of decoration this place is looking really really good so I used a combination of some moss carpet along with some crimson roots, crimson fungi, some dead coral, and some dead bushes. But you don't have to use these to decorate your witch's hut or witch's house. You can use whatever you would like. These are just what I thought looked really good. And I added some cats in as well. I tried to get the black cat, you know, because of witches, and uh, it took way too long and I lost way too many cats. I won't tell you exactly how many I had. All right, guys, that is all the time I have for today. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. And don't forget to check out all my links to social media in the description down below. And if you guys liked this at all, let me know your favorite part of this build in the comments as well. But I'm going to get on out of here and I'll see you guys in the next one. Always remember the most important thing is to be odd and wash your hands. Peace, guys.